Hello! I painted the green lock from Guillotine Games Zombie Side. First step, we need a primer. I used Corax White from Games Workshop. Normally, I use paint from Games Workshop, but you can use every paint you wish. For the shirt, I used Screamer Pink. Paxman Glow for the flash. Lead Belcher for chain, all the belt and chainsaw's metal parts. Abaddon Black with a little part of Genie Steel or Purple for trousers. Army Painters Matte White for shoes and the symbol on the shirt. Trouslayer Orange for the weapon and Abaddon Black for the long hair. I used two different types of black for a major contrast. I also used Kizzle Flash for the skin in the zombie version of Greenlock. You can find all the paint list in the description of this video. A simple but effective shading uh, could be done using Rayland Flash Shade for the skin and Nuln Oil for the rest of the model. Next step is the highlight phase. Use the base color or a lighter color to paint all the raised area and edges, avoiding any recess. For the skin in the zombie version, I used only an highlight of Kizzle Flash. In the normal model, a first highlight of Bugsman Glow, a second highlight with a 50% mix of Bugsman's Glow and Kislev Flash, and a final touch of pure Kislev Flash for face and hands, focal point of the model. Remember, in successive highlights, reduce the painted area and focus on raised details and edges. For the shirt, a first highlight of Screamer Pink and a second highlight of a 50% mix of Screamer Pink and Bugman's Glow. For the hair, an equal mix of Mechanicus Standard Grey and Abaddon Black and for trousers, a touch of Mechanicus Standard Grey in the base color. Matte white for the symbol. For the shoes, I covered in white all the white part leaving with a coat of noon oil on the black parts. With this method, I simply recreated the black sneakers of Greenlock. For the chainsaw case, uh, I used a toss layer orange for the first highlight and a second highlight uh, with the toss layer orange with uh, just a little dot of matte white. Stormost silver for all metal parts and for the base I recreated uh, the color of the miniature mixing ultramarine blue and necromancer clock from army painters after a protective spray I used blood for the blood god for some shiny and fresh blood on wounds and weapons you can also use this technical for covering any mistake. If you wish, you can add more details with a small paintbrush and some white for teeth and eyes. And in the end, you can see the two completed model. Thank you for the attention and see you soon.